All right, so what I wanna teach you now is what's called palm muting. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be applying palm muting to our strums. So I'm gonna get in the close up now for you guys. And what I want you to see here now is that with my right hand, I'm holding the pick and as I come down and make contact with the strings, with the pick, this part of my hand is touching the strings as well. Okay, so. Okay, and since you've never done this, it will be a little bit tricky at the beginning, okay? I can tell you that. So what I want you to do is just practice um, holding an E major chord, do a normal strum, and you can see now my hand is in the air, it's not touching the strings, and then do a strum with your hand touching the strings of the guitar. Now, the reason this is gonna be a little bit tricky is that it's the opposite of what we normally do. Normally, we strum the strings, and we try to make sure that our skin doesn't touch them, okay? And now what we're doing is we are intentionally touching the strings at the same time as we pick, okay? So, one more time here, let me get even closer. So, as I'm coming down, the pick is touching the strings at the same time as my hand is also touching them, which is creating this muted sound. Let me try to do that really slowly for you. Okay. And one other important tip here is that um, you don't want your hand to be far up the fretboard, you want your hand to be back here at the bridge. Okay, not all the way back, like touching it, but kind of between the hole and the, and the bridge. Okay, somewhere in that area. And that's gonna allow you to get it um, out more easily. Okay, so. And what I want you to practice now is do a strum on the E major, and then try to apply the mute so that you're switching between playing normally and doing a palm mute. Okay, and be patient with yourself. This does take a little bit of time. Okay. So strum, mute, strum, mute. And then, if that kind of starts to click, do a down up, so down up, mute, down up, mute. Okay. Okay. So what I want you to do is practice that um, and see if you can kind of get a feeling for it. And now in the next lesson, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you a real strumming pattern um, that actually uses this in it. And it's one that we've already learned. So I'm gonna be showing you how to apply this palm mute to a strumming pattern that we already know, okay? All right, so again, take your time with the palm mute. Give yourself um, plenty of time, plenty of patience, and just practice coming down with that pick and hitting and touching the strings at the same time. Okay, it is a little bit tricky and it, most of my students really need a couple of weeks. So give yourself time. It also actually took me a couple of weeks, but it's one of the most important um, kind of groovy things that you can do um, to really help spicing up your strumming, okay? So let's get into our next strumming pattern now and that is gonna be using this technique. Okay, I'll see you there, bye bye.